I know what you're wondering. What you talking about, Woe Diddy? Donny J is headed to the Supreme Court. What? Can't wait to tell you about it. Come on. From CBS News, Trump's ballot eligibility is headed to Supreme Court. Here's what to know about Thursday, which is tomorrow's epic event. News, the Supreme Court revealing a short time ago it is taking up a case that could alter the course of this year's presidential election. Late this afternoon, the nation's highest court agreed to decide whether former President Donald Trump is ineligible to be on Colorado's primary ballot because he engaged in an insurrection to overturn the 2020 election. We've got a lot of news to bring you tonight, and CBS's Jan Crawford is here to start us off. You follow the Supreme Court so closely. What have they done tonight? Well, they're going to decide if he can be disqualified, and they're going to decide it quickly. Arguments on February 8th, and I'd expect a decision by the end of next month. And in the meantime, Donald Trump can stay on the ballot. Now, this is the case from Colorado, where the Colorado Supreme Court ruled that Trump committed insurrection on January 6th, and so therefore he's ineligible for office under Section 3 of the Constitution's 14th Amendment. Now, that provision was adopted after the Civil War, and it bars insurrectionists from holding federal office. Up until last month, other state courts had ruled that the provision did not apply to Trump. Colorado was the first, and since then we've seen voters in mostly Democratic states like Oregon, California, the Maine Secretary of State, all wanting to throw him off the ballot. So the court really had no choice uh, but to take this up, and I would not be surprised if they rule, perhaps unanimously, that the Colorado Supreme Court got it wrong, that courts should not be in the business of declaring someone ineligible to run for president. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three quick maths. That 